Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another Frilici Friday, Facebook Friday. Oh my goodness. I think I say that every week, right? But um, okay, I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm showing too much skin. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta wrap that around my arms a little bit more. There, that's better. So yeah, so hopefully everybody is, um, are you guys ready for Christmas? Hopefully, hopefully, right? Just a few more days. Oh my gosh, now this is like the time when I'm like, you know, trying to go through all the presents for Kate and Lily and figure out, are they even? What do we need to do to kind of even stuff up? So, oh gosh, it's like so stressful. Although they're always happy with whatever they get. Um, so it'll be good, but I don't know. I, I always stress out a little bit about it. So um, yeah, let's see what else is going on. So we did the Come Home to Elma last weekend um, right here in downtown Elma. And I just have to give another shout out to Karen Birch and Kim Klein. They were my two helpers on Friday night and they were spectacular. Oh my gosh, they were so good with the kids. I was like, gosh, ladies, you're doing such a good job. I could just like sit back and... <laughs> and watch you guys because you're they were so good they spread so much Christmas cheer it was so cute because you know the kids would come up and they made like a really super simple gift tag and um, you know as soon as they would get done making it and you'd hand it to them and you'd say oh my gosh you did that they get like this huge smile on their face which is what this whole paper crafting is all about is that joy that feeling that you get when you make something cute and then it was fun you know to ask them what were they going to do with the gift tag whose present were they going to put it on and then they had to think about that so it was really cute so thank you kim and karen you were wonderful wonderful helpers sandra oh yay you're so oh, that's so cute i always say oh my goodness and you are saying that too um oh oh nice you put in an order and on monday and you got it yesterday already that is awesome well, I think because you're a little bit closer to Salt Lake City, maybe that helps. I don't know. It takes over a week for me to get an order. So yay, that is awesome. Well, I'm glad you could join me. Um, I think you said maybe you were going to be going shopping. So maybe you're going to do that later today or maybe you're already all done. I don't know. That would be good, right? So, um, oh, let's see. I want to, oh, hi, Bonnie. Oh my gosh, I haven't had you join us live here in a while. So good. I'm so glad you can join us as well. Um, so I have to tell you guys, we did our Inkspired Stampers, our group gathering earlier this week. And typically we do, um, you know, this whole meeting and make and takes and kind of business training. And we have all these creative challenges and um, <clears throat> business challenges and so on. So for December, I always like to kind of keep it light and fun. Um, not that the others aren't light and fun, but you know, we did a shoebox swap, basically. Um, no shopping, bad, oh yeah, stay put. Oh my gosh, the older I get, the more I'm like, I am with you. I do not need to be out on the roads if the weather's not gonna be good. Yeah, stay inside and stay safe and stay warm and cozy. So you can always do it tomorrow or the next day, right? We still have a couple more days for Christmas shopping anyway. So Darlene, oh my gosh, yay. Hi, Nikki. Oh, I'm so glad you guys can join me. I always around this time of year, I'm thinking, you know, how many people are going to be able to join me? So I'm so glad because I know everybody's so busy right now. So um, yay, I'm glad you guys can join me. Um, so let's see. Oh, I was telling you guys we were doing a shoebox swap. So I have to show you. So do you guys know what a shoebox swap is? Merry Christmas to you, Darlene. Thank you very much. Um, basically, each of us designed one card and then we cut kind of all of, you know, if there was any die cutting or punching or anything that you could do ahead of time, do that for like 10 cards. Um, and then each person did that for their own card. So then, you know, the idea was you bring it in a shoe box, like all the parts and pieces to make your card and you put it on the table and then people kind of rotate around the tables making each of our cards. So I have to show you guys because they feature and they're going to be backwards, but I love to, you know, sometimes I just, I like to do it this way. Um, so, okay, this first one, oh, can you see? Because I've got a little sticky on the back there that you're not supposed to see. <laughs> My notes on what all these, because these are new products that are used and I do not know the names of much of anything yet. So this card features the Dear Doily set and thinlets and she actually made kind of a Christmas theme with it. But So this says, words can't express 
how much your kindness touches my life. Ooh, I feel like I'm getting really close there. So it's so pretty, you guys. I don't know if you can see. I love the font on the cursive. And then the doily. This is actually three different shapes of doily with all of that detail and cut out. Super, super cute. The stamp set is really kind of intricate doilies like the framelits too. So I can imagine, you know, kind of, you could make your own designer series paper with that dear doily stamp set, I think, just stamping a bunch of those doilies. We had a stamp set, we've had a one or two over the years um, <clears throat> like that. And I love, there's something about the doilies because all of the detail in them, and then you just kind of sprinkle them on your page. So we're gonna have some fun with that stamp set. That was Kim Klein's um, uh, shoebox swap. And then this one, okay, this one is the Tea Together stamp set. And please just kind of ignore the really awful coloring. I was talking and like eating <laughs> and really not concentrating on doing a good job coloring by any means. Hi Rosa, I'm glad you can join us. But I wanna show you because it's a really cute stamp set. So there's the really cute teapot and then the, this sentiment and the flower. So this sentiment says, love is a cup of warm tea. Oh, that sounds good right about now, doesn't it? And then she used some of, this is our already kind of, you know, we had this in the annual catalog. Totally can't remember the name of that designer series paper. And then um, some of that polka dot tool ribbon that we always love. So this one was designed by Karen Birch. Um, okay, next, oh, for cat lovers out there, right? We have, the cat punch that we've had. That one came out, I think, last year in the holiday catalog with all the Halloween stuff. But there's a new stamp set called the Nine Lives stamp set. So this is kind of a two-step stamping. We use the Stamparettas with this to help line things up, which was very helpful. And then this sentiment says, a friend like you comes around once in nine lives. Oh, that's cute, right? And then what else did she use? We've got some of the gingham, I think that's gingham garden. I've got that on another one. Um, some of the super cute new designer series paper in the gingham. Um, and then this ribbon, this is some of the new celebration ribbon. Um, it is an organdy combo pack. And I did not even write down the name of the color, but it comes in five different colors. I'm gonna show you guys that in just a few minutes. But super cute. And then actually this tin tile, I don't know if you can see the detail there, that embossing folder is carrying over. So we were all really excited about that because I love that embossing folder too. Okay, oh, this was Beth Martin designed this card, okay? Next we have, this one is called the Lasting Lily stamp set from the Celebration brochure. So this one is actually, because it's a big stamp set, if you spend $100, you can get the Lasting Lily stamp set for free. Some of, most of the items in the Celebration brochure, if you spend $50, you get to pick a free item, but there are a few of those $100 you know, Mac Daddy items, and this happens to be one of them. And this says, for the moments you can't put into words, which that's just a really nice sentiment, because I think there are lots of kind of times when that would be appropriate. And this one was designed by Sunday Ostrander. And, okay, this is kind of a twofer, because Miss Wendy, who I think you said you can't watch live, so you'll probably catch this later, but you left your card um, at the table. So she designed, and now I'm trying to remember, I think she made this one um, kind of as her example, and then I think we made the blue. I can't even, isn't that awful? Maybe, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe she made the blue, whatever. So anyway, this is, I'm pretty sure, Balmy Blue, and then this one is Highland Heather, and then the coordinating uh, gingham right gingham gala designer series paper with more if you guys can see those are examples again of more of that organdy ribbon did i say that there are five different colors of ribbon that you can get for free with a 50 dollars order during celebration so these are three of the colors of that organdy ribbon and then there are a couple more but i'll show you those in a few minutes um yeah so wendy designed this card and then do you see she used our Super fan favorite, the Wishing You Well stamp set with the little flowers in there. So cute. You, this is, you can see how versatile that stamp set, which, you know, I've said that about 500 times, right? But there we go for like spring cards too. Because when I look at that wheat stock kind of thing on there, I think fall more than anything, fall and winter maybe. Um, 
but look, you can put it on a spring kind of themed card too. And I cannot remember, these little sequins are some new sequins. I think they're part of the Gingham Gala suite in the new um, occasions catalog, but we'll have to check those, check those out. And then this last one was designed by Nancy Gulick and she used a ton of fun new products. So can you see this is, um, well, I, gotta, I put lots of notes on my little sticky here. So that is the petal pink and white variegated ribbon. It's kind of flopping over me if I do that. Isn't that so pretty? And then the, what's this called? The Butterfly butterfly Gala stamp set. So you can see that pretty um, butterfly and then the little baby one. And there's a punch that will cut the big butterfly and the little butterfly. And then this is the sentiment that she chose that says, the good things in life are better with you. And she also used one of those cute little um, adhesive back sequins. I think they're Gingham Gala. Um, oh, and then the fan favorite was, this is part of the Floral Romance Designer Series paper. And I don't know if you can tell, I don't know how well, I guess I did it here, it down pretty well. It's actually vellum, can you guys see? So my, um, what is that color? Man, I am like, brain dead is this whatever green this is granny apple green i think so that is showing through the vellum there nancy actually had a piece of white cardstock behind her vellum so then the white was kind of popping out but i really liked this look too so i thought that was kind of fun um you know to show that kind of green the granny apple green cardstock behind your vellum so lots of fun but oh beautiful i did not even realize when i looked at that paper that it's actually vellum in the catalog so lots of really cute new things i had to just kind of tease you guys with that because i know you know you can't order it quite yet if you're a demonstrator you can order it which that's one of the perks of being a demonstrator right if you get the starter kit you can be a demonstrator basically and get stuff in advance before anybody else can and get a discount and everything so let me know if you want more details on the starter kit. Um, let's see, what else do we want to do? Oh, let's do our drawing. So in here, you can see I got a bunch of names. So you guys know the drill, right? One entry for commenting, three entries for sharing the Facebook Live video. Then what else? Oh, I picked one random day, which happened to be Friday. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got my little days of the week, so I just shuffle them all around, and I picked Friday. So any of the posts on Friday, if you commented and shared, excluding the Facebook Live, because that would have been like absolutely insane, to be honest, to put all those in again. <laughs> but any other posts that I did on Friday, if you commented or shared your name, went in this drawing three times. And then, oh, if you sign up for my email list, you got another three entries. So, all right, here we go. Oh, what are we gonna give away? Let's do that, let me show you. Do you guys remember from last week? This is the Berry Burst. Is it a crinkled, crinkled seam bind mini, I don't know. Mini ruffled ribbon, they call it. Okay, so we need to shake these all around. Okay, so I keep looking at myself. Do you guys see I got my hair cut? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm like, I keep, I know I'm supposed to be looking like I, I know I'm supposed to be looking somewhere else, but I find it absolutely impossible to not like look at yourself when you're talking. So sorry if I'm always like looking like I'm look, uh, off in the distance, but and then I keep like checking my hair out because I think I got about half my hair cut off. <laughs> craziness although it's funny because a lot of it was really short in front and then it was quite a bit longer in back so you guys my hairstylist kept saying people probably aren't even going to notice um but i don't know it's like woo, it swings a lot so kind of fun something different okay so shaking them all around here we go wow there are a lot of names in here i just picked up like a whole pile of about 15 of them i feel like okay huh miss karen birch can you guys see? There we go. Karen is the winner. Congratulations, Karen. You are the winner of the Berry Burst um, Mini Ruffled Ribbon. Not seam binding. Mini Ruffled Ribbon. Okay. Oh, I gotta dump all these things out so we can do our other drawing. Okay. Those all cleaned out. So do you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away this week? Get those other ones in there. Um, What are we gonna give away this week? Oh, okay. So I thought these would be great for upcoming Valentine treat projects. These are the metallic brads. You can hear them like shaky, shaky, shake. I don't know if 
I guess the label kind of covers things up. So, oh, and I didn't even quite remember. There are different sizes and colors in here. Oh, these are really cool, guys. Okay, let's see if I can get a few. Wow, well, okay, I think I'm gonna lose them if I, so teeny, teeny, tiny, there are copper, I would say, copper, silver, and gold, and super teeny, tiny, and then kind of a medium size brad, and that's the gold, but again, copper, silver, and gold, and then there are large ones. Oh, I didn't realize how cool these were. These, this is the silver, but can you see it's got two little, I don't know if you can see that. Oops, put it over there. Two little dots inside there. So again, copper, silver, and gold, and the small, the medium, and then the large with the little dots on them. So I think these are gonna be great. Like if you make little treat kind of things um, and you wanna put a brad somewhere, these are gonna be really fun for um, Valentine's Day. So that's what we're gonna give away next week on next Friday's Facebook Live, okay? So now we are gonna do the drawing for that awesome snow is glistening stamp set. So this is the one if you put an online order in and use the host code anytime between last Friday and this Wednesday, your name went in the drawing to win. Oh, the beautiful, I did not play with this enough. It kind of came and went so quickly. I don't know about you guys if many of you missed out on getting that stamp set, but one lucky person will be getting it right now. Okay, so I've got my names from online orders. I just dumped everything out. So the, the bag is not nearly as full now <laughs> um, as it was with the first one. But okay, let's see. I'm shaking these around and I'm going to make sure I just get one in my hand. And it goes to Sandra, Miss Sandra Johnson. Very nice. You are the winner of the Snow is Glistening stamp set. So I don't know if you're getting snow where you are, but this kind of is very fitting for you right now, right? Okay, so now, okay, this week, well, what, what we're gonna give away actually next Friday is, and I didn't pull it out yet, but I have to show you guys. So this is that organdy ribbon combo pack. I think you guys can see it pretty well. I'm gonna do a sampler with two yards of each of these colors. Let's see if we can figure out. I'm gonna call this one Calypso Coral Daffodil Delight Highland Heather, Granny Apple Green, and Balmy Blue. That's what I think. I did not consult my celebration brochure, so I'm not totally sure. But if you put an online order in between now and next Wednesday, your name goes in the drawing to win a sampler of the new Celebration Organdy Ribbon Combo Pack. Oh, let's see what Sandra's saying. No snow here yet. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. So I wonder if snow's coming for you. We had rain yesterday and it's just kind of dreary and ugly, but I thought I heard maybe some snow later, which, um, you know, people kind of get excited about having snow for Christmas, so that would be all right if we got a little snow to make it a white Christmas, right? So congratulations, Sandra. And then, like I said, next week, one lucky winner will get the ribbon sampler pack um, of all the new celebration. Can you guys see? It's just so, uh, it makes you think of spring, right? All these fun, bright colors. So that will be very cool. Okay, um, let's see, check my notes. Okay, what else, what else? Oh, okay, so just quick reminders about make, oh, hold on, I gotta get a sip of water real quick, one sec. Okay, so I know I mentioned these last week, but I just thought one more quick time to remind everybody about the year-end closeout sale. So basically that is anything that's in the holiday catalog that is retiring, they put in the year-end closeout sale. Now, some of those things are discounted like really, really well. So make sure you go through everything. You know, if you go to stampinup.com, the very front like banner is the year-end closeout sale. See, if you just like click on that banner, it'll take you to, I think, um, well, one says, I don't know, I can't remember what it says, but basically there are a couple of different um, icons that you can click on and you can see everything that is retiring. And then you can also, hi Wendy, how are you? And then you can also see everything that's discounted and retiring. So just kind of go through the website and just make sure that there isn't anything 
that you are wanting out of the holiday catalog because these are the last few days to be able to get anything out of there once january i think january 2 is the last day that you can order out of the holiday catalog and you know stuff's been selling out like i had a gal just the other day message me about how bummed she was that she did not get the alpine adventure bundle now it was funny because i was like i thought you could still get that stamp set you can get the stamp set, but you can't get the frame ones. So anyway, I just, I don't want that disappointment for anybody else. So check the list, make sure there's anything that you need. Because the other thing to check out on stampinup.com is the clearance rack. They just put a bunch of new stuff on the clearance rack. The one thing that caught my eye and totally blew me away was those I think they're called the stitched season framelits that were only available for like a really limited time maybe back in August well those are on the clearance rack now and they're like huge discounts on that those framelits and there are a whole bunch of other awesome things so just check out those couple of buckets on stampinup.com on you know on the website make sure there's anything that you need because between now and Christmas December 25th if you um, want to order anything so what you're gonna have to do is email me though your order I personally it's not a Stampin' Up thing because that confused some people hi Abby how are you I think I heard you down at um, the studio I peeked in this morning to grab some stuff and I think maybe you were in the back cutting someone's hair so hello hello um, so yeah myself personally I am offering an additional 20% off an order you have to email me though because if you go to stampinup.com and try to put that order in you know they're not going to give you the 20% off so email me I'll put it in for you and I'll let you know what your total is with that 20% off so if you can imagine shopping the year-end closeout or the clearance rack with all those awesome deals and then getting 20% off too I've had quite a few people email me already but I just want to make sure that you guys know that that is available till uh, December 25th okay and honestly if you email me on Christmas Day I might not be checking my email but I'll put the orders in on um, the next day so don't you worry I got you covered um, you just have to communicate with me that you want to order something by December 25th okay and then you get that extra 20% off um what else what else oh what's my email address so it's my name Amy a m y with a period and then my last name f r i l l i c i at yahoo.com okay just email me there with your order and you'll be all set um, the other thing that I just want to make sure everybody knows about is that club member drive that is starting in January was celebration. So the awesome thing is if you join a club during celebration, you're going to get a free celebration item from me. You pick any $50 item that you want and I'll get that for you as my thank you for joining a club. So clubs include the Simple Beautiful Card Club, the Scrapbook Club, the Class To Go Club. So that's a great option if you're not local. If you decide you wanna do the Class To Go kits each month for 12 months, basically you are a Class To Go Club member and then you're gonna get that free celebration item. You, as being a club member, you always get at least $30 in host rewards. Plus I always make cute treats for everybody um, that are club members too. So it's tons of fun, it's an awesome, like excuse basically to get cute new stuff and come to a class if you're local every single month the other thing that I wanted to make sure that everybody knew about is with the simple beautiful card club I'm also offering kind of an online version of that so I know you know if you're not local you can't actually physically come to class but what we'll do each month is I'll have a host code for the club for the simple beautiful card club that month if you put an order in um, of at least $30 online, I will send you all four projects that we make, completed projects, I'll send those to you um, for your order. You just have to make sure to use that host code. And if you wanna do it in terms of being a club member, if you sign up for 12 months, so January to December, you're gonna put an order in each month using the host code and you're gonna get all four projects every single month sent to you. So that is awesome, right? So let me know if you have any questions on any of that, because I'm excited, I'm really trying to ramp up and get um, new club members and new people participating, because it's just an awesome, like I said, it's an awesome excuse to get new stuff and get fun projects every single month, okay? Um, and then last thing for any last minute shoppers out there, either yourself or maybe someone in your family that is looking for a gift certificate for you or maybe you're getting one for somebody else, if you need any cute um, holiday treats or um, card kits, I still have all of those things done at the stamp studio. Again, just email me and I'm happy to um, help you out because I know last minute shoppers, it happens. I'm still um, having to wrap things up too. So if you 
Or, you know, like I said, if you're kind of going through everything and you realize, oh, things aren't even or I need to get one more thing, let me know. I can help you out, okay? Um, I think... Oh, the last thing then, okay, after like holiday time is done, right, then celebration begins. I am so excited. Um, I've just finally started to have a little bit of time to play with new things from the occasions catalog and the celebration brochure. So celebration begins, I think it's in about two, is it two weeks? Does that make sense? Two weeks from yesterday on Thursday, January 3, we can start ordering out of the occasions catalog and getting free celebration items with every $50 order. So in conjunction with that, I am doing the new catalog sneak peek event next Saturday on December 29th at the Stamp Studio. Um, if you would like to attend, it's anytime from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're gonna make um, four projects using new occasions and celebration catalog stuff and have some awesome fun. Plus, if you come to that event, your name automatically goes in a drawing to win a celebration item just for coming to the event. So, and honestly, if anybody is um, not local and you wanna participate, kinda like I was saying about the Simple Beautiful Card Club, um, email me, I'll give you a host code, and then if you put an order in, I'll send you the four projects that we made um, at the kickoff, at the, um, yeah, at the kickoff event. So, okay, let me know if you have any questions on any of that. Um, all right, I think we are ready to, uh, yeah, let's do some stamping. Are you guys ready to do that? I'm looking around, I'm like, I think I showed, uh, yeah, I think I showed everything. So, okay, yeah, one sec, turn your heads away just for a minute, and we will flip the camera here, okay? Okay, oops, I almost hit finish. That wouldn't be good, I wanna flip it down, not finish, right? Okay, so, I do have to show you because you know my little shameless plug of like asking for um, Christmas cards. I got a few more in the mail and dropped off at the studio, so I have to share them with you guys. So this first card, I love. I remember this, the ice skates and the snowshoe, the cross country skis and that um, kind of sled. Remember that from a couple years ago. And then the fun white marker that kind of made it look like there was a little bit of snow. So unfortunately, this stamp set is not available any longer, so don't totally fall in love with it, right? Just appreciate that I got this fun holiday card. And this was a card from Linda, and it says, May all the blessings of the season fill your heart and home with joy. So super, super sweet. Thank you, Linda. You made my day when I came to the studio and found that. And then here, this is another friend that I have made online. Um, he was looking to receive like a thousand Christmas cards. So he was reaching out to anybody that um, loves paper crafting. And I said, sure, I'll send you a Christmas card. And then I gave him my address, so he sent one back to me. So this is that fun, um, the candy cane stamp set and punch with the fun little Merry Christmas. And then on the inside, it says, tis the sweet season. Uh, Merry Christmas from Tyler Leonard. So thank you, Tyler. I appreciate your handmade Christmas card. And then the last one, this was from my friend Maria. Now, do you guys remember last week I was saying um, that I loved, I just heard from Maria um, because she said she watches regularly um, on YouTube, I think she said, because um, she can't catch the Facebook Live videos. But it just made me realize, like I said, how many people may watch, but I don't even know that you're watching if you don't comment or email me or something. So I would love to hear from you guys. I just, I, I made my day to hear from Maria. And I just want you guys to know that, that each and every one of you that watches on Facebook Live um, and on YouTube, I would love to hear from you because I love to kind of get to know everybody that is watching and, um, you know, kind of playing along with us. So this was a fun card that Maria sent to me and she used that corrugated embossing folder, some beautiful Christmas trees. And you cannot see, but there is, I think maybe she used like a wink of Stella. There's some kind of glitteriness here as well with that beautiful Merry Christmas and then some of that festive farmhouse designer series paper and her sentiment, enjoy the warmth of the season. And I love how she did that too, just kind of added a little bit of designer series paper on the inside of the card just to fancy that up. So thank you guys for your handmade cards. I really appreciate those. So, okay, let's see. I think, I know I was teasing you saying that we were gonna do some stamping, but now I think we really, really are gonna do our stamping. Okay, let's get that centered. Right, oh, let me give you the host code too while I'm thinking about that, right? The 7YRFCBHN. 
um, make sure you use that if you put an online order in, okay? I'm gonna scoot that up out of the way a little bit. All right, I just have to check my notes because I feel like I missed something. But no, I think we're good. So have you guys been enjoying the um, Animal Expedition Suite um, part of our product of the week on the Facebook group? I have had so much fun playing with all of these things. Um, so I have to show you guys. Here are, these are a couple of cards that didn't make it onto Facebook Live because, or onto the Facebook group because I realized I had them done at the studio. But I, this one is super cute. Um, so it's that fun kangaroo with a little heart peeking out of his belly. And then it says, I love Roo. <laughs> I think that's so cute. This is, so you're like, how did, how did she do that? Because I wondered at first too. But this is, and I am totally drawing a blank, but this is a stamp set that we can use to basically build um, our own sentiments. So that like the double O, so the R and double O, it's this whole stamp set that has all the letters in the alphabet, and then in some cases like a double O, and maybe a double T, kind of some common things, but I just thought so stinking cute, and there are uppercase and lowercase letters, so you can really do a lot of stamping with that stamp set. I am just totally drawing a blank on the name of it, but anyway, cute, cute, cute little guy, and she did some fun sponging back there too. So that's one fun card with that Animal Expedition Suite. And then the big, or thank you big time with some of our designers. All I can, all I know the names of right now are holiday catalog product. So that's some of designer series paper in the annual catalog that I cannot remember. <laughs> but the cute little giraffe, cute, simple, quick, easy card there. Another fun thank you big time with the hippo. And I love the kind of simplicity of this. Like she just stamped this. It looks like maybe in a basic gray and just a little bit of coloring. So you don't even have to do a lot of coloring with this stamp set. You can, you know, all the other color around it kind of really adds to it with the fun leaves there too. So fun, 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 fun. And then, okay, this is one of the cards we we're actually going to make today. So it says, together we make a great pair. And I should have been telling you guys who made these, if I can see them. Let me do that real quick. So this, thank you big time, was from Angela Curry at kindredstampers.net, okay? Um, yep, this one, the thank you big time, is from Hattie Nelson, Honey Bee Stampers. And so her, let me get that right in there. Her blog is honeybeestampers.com. Hi, Hattie. <laughs> She's fun. I love her. And then this fun, the I Love Rue card, I thought, because this shape is a little bit different, Morel Taylor, and she is from Sydney, Australia. And you can find her at morelltaylor.com. So probably some awesome ideas on all of their blogs and websites. So that's what made me think of it, because this card we are casing from um, a friend named Genevieve Ko. Um, she's one of the top demonstrators in Canada. Um, so I just loved this card. I'm trying to, I feel like probably most of these I maybe received on the Alaskan cruise, because this is product we've had for a little while. But I can't remember for sure. So okay, let me get my things out that we need here for this one. Everybody doing okay? Thinking about all the holiday prep you need to do probably, right? Okay, so there's that animal outing stamp set. Super duper cute. I know I've had lots of fun with that on our Facebook group this week. And okay, let's get my stamps and ink and everything. And we will get to having some fun here. Okay. So what I think we are going to do, actually, we are gonna die cut, very first of all. And I have to tell you guys, so I have lost <laughs> my largest um, layering oval framelit with the scallop edge. I don't know where it went. I know I had it, and then I thought I'd put it back, and it's, it's tucked in somewhere, and I'm gonna find it probably in a year or two. Um, so, bummer for us because it's not really that big of a deal, but I had to use a little bit smaller because I think that is the largest um, scallop edge oval in that layering oval pack. So we're going to use the second largest and then the second largest straight edge. So ours is going to be a little bit smaller than that, but that'll be okay. So let's do our die cutting first because I am afraid if I tried to stamp all of that on there, I wouldn't get it fit on there very well. So, 
with our, we have some Whisper White cardstock and we have, what is this, Early Espresso. Am I gonna be able to get both of these on here? I think. So here, let me pull this guy out a little bit more. Okay, so we've got our straight edge and our scallop edge and then the top. So I have some new cutting pads. It's always hard to find them because <laughs> they're so kind of clear right now. I put them down and they're right in front of my face. It's kind of like your dimensionals. You know how you're always like looking for them, can't find them, and they're right in front of your face. Okay, so we'll scoot those guys out of the way. Actually, we're going to move the big shot because I think we've done all of our um, die cutting that we needed to do. Okay. So, where my circle? My elbow, not my circle, but my elbow. Okay. So, we are going to try to stamp in it. So, can you see? Mine's a little bit smaller than Jen's. It's going to be all right, though. So, we're going to start with our Together We Make a Great Pair. And I have my Call Me Clover ink. So, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're going to put that right there. Okay, good. Not upside down. That's always good. All right, and then we're, oops, gonna get these leaves kind of as if that'll work. The giraffes are eating the leaves, right? And then with my little giraffe stamp in my black memento ink, this one I can pound a little bit harder on because it's not one of the firm foam pads. Let's see if he's gonna fit. Oh, look at that. Oh, now how did she do that? Okay, well, we're not doing that, but somehow she, made the mirror image. So we're gonna do, oh, is it, how did she do that? Okay, I know that there's a way, and I think it involves using your, maybe your silicone craft sheet where you stamp it kind of in reverse. Well, ours is gonna look like that. Instead of them facing each other, the one is gonna be kind of, they're both looking off in the distance um, on the prairie or something, right? <laughs> okay, so, to color these, I used, did I bring them all? I did, okay. So these are the watercolor pencils, the assortment two pack, and I am using, this is the crushed curry um, watercolor pencil. So now we are just gonna kind of color in, is that thing wiggling? I can't look up while I'm coloring to see. I feel like it is, oh, bummer. Make that stop wiggling. Maybe if I kind of do this. Sorry guys if it is. So we're gonna color these all in. And I'm gonna not, ooh, not worry too much. You know what I meant to tell you? Um, I'm not thinking. Is to not color the white dots in and then I kind of went crazy. So all his white dots are colored in and that's gonna be all right. It actually makes it a little bit easier to color if you don't have to worry about like coloring around things, right? So, sorry, there's no way for me to hold onto this paper so that it doesn't move and color and hold onto the phone so it's not wiggling. So, bear with me just another sec while we get these guys colored with our crushed curry watercolor pencil. And I'm showing you this too because just in case you happen to get the Animal Expedition class to go, this is one of the steps to color the giraffe card. I used this Crushed Curry watercolor pencil. Just trying to make sure I've got enough color in there, right? Okay, done wiggling. Okay, so can you guys see? There is that. Now I am gonna use my Aqua Painter to just blend in those brush strokes a little bit, okay? It just kind of smooths out all of those lines that we made, okay? Ooh, look at that. And it kind of um, enhances the color a little bit too, makes it pop just a little bit more there, okay? Okay, so now do you want to peek at this? Oops, let me get it in the right view. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, so fun, 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 huh? So just a quick, simple, easy way to color your giraffes in. 
Now, let's see, I need some adhesive. So, let's go ahead and put our adhesive on that little guy, right? And then we are gonna punch with our leaf punch. We're gonna just punch one of these. Um, what is that called? Crumb cake. This is crumb cake cardstock, so we're gonna do that. Now, let me give you dimensions because I think we are basically ready to put this card together. So, our card base that started out, I guess I have to move that over a little bit, right? So our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, right? So this was the 11 inch side. We cut it in half at five and a half inches. And then over on the eight and a half inch side, we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches. Whoops, okay. So our crumb cake card base. Then we have our Call Me Clover layer that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then this is part of the Animal Expedition Designer Series paper. And this piece measures three inches by four inches, okay? So we are gonna put, ooh, and I love. <laughs> so aren't these cute, all the animals? And you can see that pretty giraffe. She did such a nice job making that look so similar too, didn't she? Um, I don't even know what that is, but he's super cute, huh? And then the bottom of the rhino there. Um, and then all just the little birdies and leaves and frogs. Oh, and then this was the other reason I was showing you because I love that little animal print. That, oh, got some fun ideas for that too. Okay, so we are gonna put, it's funny because he's upside down, but he's hanging, so he's supposed to be upside down. I thought my paper was upside down for a sec. Okay, so we're gonna put that on there. And then I have just a strip of our burlap ribbon. So I'm gonna put that right around there. And I'm gonna actually use my trusty Fast Fuse because I still have some left. It'll be a sad day when I like use the last little bit of my Fast Fuse. And I'm gonna use this, oops, on all of my corners. And I wanna tack that down because that's pretty sturdy burlap ribbons. So you want to make sure you get it on there tight. Okay, then we're going to put this guy right on here. Okay, we are going to actually put that on in a sec. So let's grab some dimensionals for this guy. Okay, I'm going to put one on the top and one on the bottom. And actually, maybe I will put some on the corners too. I have a feeling that's going to end up right about where our burlap ribbon is. Okay, all right, you guys are quiet today. Is everybody sleeping? <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying. Oh my gosh, I just love. So, so, so cute. Okay, so we're gonna put that maybe right about there, right? And then, um, this was my little trick because I always forget my silicone craft sheet, but where am I? Here, so I'm gonna use the back of my dimensionals to just put a little bit of adhesive and you can see how it doesn't stick on there. So it's kind of like a little mini silicone craft sheet and we're just gonna put that little guy maybe right about there okay so there is our first project a cute little animal expedition card together we make a great pair so fun 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 cute fun fun card okay so now are you guys ready for the next project because this one let me get these things out of the way just a little bit so I don't confuse myself with what I'm doing okay so this one was another swap that I received, and maybe this was another one that I got on the Alaskan cruise. This one is from, am I gonna, I don't, I'm trying to not show you guys the fun part. Anne Granger made this card. Okay, so check this out. It's got this fun little fold. So the idea is that it could kind of stand up. I don't know what you call that. It's almost like mountains or something. There's probably a, an official name for it. But so it goes, and then you can open it that way, and you can flip that, and then when you're ready to just open the card, then you do that. So isn't this so cool? I love this idea. So let me show you how you're gonna put this one together, okay? And then the, like the dimensions and so on for the kind of folds that you're gonna do. Okay, so, and I've got my little sticky here too, so I don't mess anything up. But we start with a piece of lemon lime twist cardstock, or eight and a half by 11 cardstock, standard. We're gonna cut it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter, and then we're gonna score it along the 11 inch side at five and a half, 
okay? To make our fold in our card just like we always do, right? Then the Call Me Clover piece, so this piece right here, right? I'm gonna tell you about that one next, okay? So this is a piece of Call Me Clover cardstock that measures, it's three and three quarter inches. Oh, no, strike that. I'm looking at the designer series paper. So I got my little sticky here and I'm reading it wrong. Okay, so Call Me Clover, er, back up. It is, I didn't think that looked quite right. Yep, because on here, so it's three and seven eighths inch wide by 10 and one quarter inches long. And then you are gonna score it at the two and a half inch mark right here, and then at the five inch mark right here, okay? So three and seven eighths by 10 and one quarter, scored at two and a half and five inches. And you're gonna fold one in that way, so it's a little bit short, and then the other one you flap back like that, okay? Then our designer series paper, this is more of that fun animal expedition designer series paper, measures three and three quarter by five inches, okay? And then the other two little pieces of designer series paper, they're the same size. These are, again, the three and three quarter by two and one quarter this time, okay? So we can start putting these pieces. Why don't we do that? Let's just get all of our pieces right on our card so I don't get anything mixed up. Okay, so this one is gonna go right inside here. And it just, that Call Me Clover just peeks out around the edges a little bit, okay? Then we're gonna put some more adhesive on the back of these guys. It's funny, they look so similar, the patterns do. I guess this one has leaves and frogs and this one has leaves and birds. So, cause the other side is different. Okay, so we're gonna put this one, we're gonna kind of center this right inside here. Okay, and then this one goes right inside. Actually, I'm gonna flip that around right inside here. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we can adhere. So do you see how this is going? Flipping it up, right? And then this is gonna just lay right on there. Okay, so I am gonna use my fast fuse again because I wanna make sure this baby stays on here really, really well, okay? So let me make sure. It's funny that this kind of sticks up so it's a little bit harder. Plus I have no second chances with my fast fuse, right? So I gotta hope that I do it right here. Okay, I think that looks good, right? Now, okay. Okay, isn't that cool? I love that fold on that card, right? All right, so now we are going to, let's see. Oh, we have our Wild About You stamp. So we're gonna stamp the Wild About You. And again, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna die cut it first. Oh, and I have to show you guys this too. Okay, so this is some of the Animal Expedition Designer Series paper. So I just kind of cut that little piece out right there because there are framelits that will cut the rhino and the cute little birdie out. Now I could tell that on this card, cause I was like, how did she make all of these in a swap? Cause there aren't that many rhinos on this designer series paper. This is actually the stamp. So she colored the rhino in and the little birdie. So can you see, like she did a great job. They're almost so, they're very, very similar. The kind of tones. I, I love, there was a lot of guidance here on the coloring and the shading, so she did a great job. I'm cheating, and since I only have to make one of these to show you guys on Facebook Live, instead of stamping and coloring, we are just gonna die cut with our Animal Friends Thinlets. We're gonna die cut that rhino right out. And the kind of fun thing is the little bird is right on there also. So that's just gonna fit right on there. And then we also need the largest oval in the stitched oval framelits. That's the piece that's gonna go right there. Okay, so let's cut both of those guys out and then we'll finish putting our card together. Okay. All right, we've got this. So let's see, we'll put our white paper on here first with our oval and then down at this end, we are gonna carefully line up our framelit on our designer series paper to cut out the rhino 
with that cute little curly cute tail too and the little birdie on his trunk so cute i wonder if birds ever really do that or if it's only <laughs> it's probably only in disney movies that that happens well hi sarah how are you i'm glad you can join us we're making some fun cards here okay so we got that piece look at that oh my gosh isn't that so cool how that cut that out I love that. You even cut out the little detail right there because it's still stuck <laughs> in there. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so let's get this stuff out of the way. So these cards, I would say, are great for, we keep saying, um, young people and young at heart people, right? Or someone you just want to send a cute little project to help make them smile. Okay, so I've got my Wild About You stamp and my Black Stays On ink. And I'm gonna make sure that is going the right way. And we're gonna stamp that. Oops, That's, um, that ink is kind of sticky. So it lifted right up on me when I did that. Okay, and then we are gonna put some dimensionals behind our rhino with the little birdie on his beak. I'm gonna pop him up right on our stitched oval. Okay, put him, oh my gosh, so cute. And then we're gonna be careful. We just wanna put some adhesive along the bottom, right? I don't wanna do it on the top because that's just gonna kind of layer right on our card. So we're gonna put this guy maybe right about there, I'd say, right? So check that out. Isn't that so cute? I love so you can open that up and you can write whatever you want inside but then it's got that fun fold on it too mine hasn't been in the um <laughs> in the clear envelope quite as long so it's not sticking together quite as much you know standing up quite as tall but so stinking cute do you guys love this whole suite so animal expedition designer series paper this is the animal outing stamp set and then those animal friends thin lips i've got them kind of pulled out there um, but such a great suite of products and the other reason i wanted to make sure to kind of show you some alternate projects with the, all of those products is because today is the last day to order the animal expedition class to go so that's the class that you can get sent right to you that you would make two of each of these cards and oh that's the one that i was saying i kind of wanted to show you how to color in and i just colored that a little bit deeper you can see i i didn't have to worry about the camera wiggling when i did this one on the class to go so just colored in a little bit darker but the, how i colored this right here is exactly how i did that one on there too okay so you get two of that project two of that one and two of that one right so very similar so anyway, if you have any interest in that class to go, let me know. Um, RSVP deadline is actually today. So today's the last day that you can order that. Um, but I'd love to get one of those class to go kits together for you. And I'm gonna include the link to order that class to go in the comments um, to the, uh, the, what is this called? Facebook Live video today, okay? So, all right, don't forget, make sure if you wanna put an online order in, do that by next Wednesday. Use the host code 7YRFCBHN when you order online. You will automatically get these two super cute projects that I demonstrated on Facebook Live. And your name is going to go into the drawing to win two yards of each of our new celebration ribbon, right? Then if you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment as well. So thank you so much for watching. I know it's just kind of a crazy time of year. Oh, and Nikki, I see your um, comment. Thank you. I'm glad that you enjoyed those cards. I know that bundle is awesome. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to go kit, let me know because you can, I'll, I'll put all the link with all the details. You can get the stamp set, you can get the framelits, you get some designer series paper, you get some leaf ribbon, you get the little wooden elements, tons and tons of fun stuff in that to-go kit class. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to um, watch and spend time with me here. And I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas. I cannot believe it's finally here. It's, you know, it always comes up so quickly right at the end. So hopefully everyone is prepared or will be uh, fully prepared um, in the next couple of days. So hope you guys have a great time with friends and family and we will see you next Friday 
after Christmas. Okay, so thanks so much. Have a great weekend and a great uh, Merry Christmas. Bye, everybody.